Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please...
Do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa! You're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me! <laughs> I'm back. Mom? Excuse me, are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> My sweet Alyssa, I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me.
Mum, I came back home. I know you told me not to, but I couldn't help it. I'm so worried about you. Where are you, Mum?
cabeza. Lisa!
Alisa. I have to tell you something important. Daddy's going off to war. War? I hate the thought of leaving you here all alone. I feel dreadful. I'll be all right. But, but what about you? You'll miss me and be sad when you're in war, won't you? Yes, yes I will. You're the most precious thing to me in the whole world. But don't worry. Daddy, don't forget the piano concourse is on Christmas Eve. The winner will have their performance aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win the contest so that you can hear me when you're out in the war. That'll be wonderful. The competition will be stiff, but if you go to your lessons and practice properly, I'm sure you can do it. I'll practice every day. I've already chosen the piece I'm going to play. Listen. You told me this watch was a present from Mummy before you got married, remember? I'll play this tune on Christmas Eve, so you can think of Mummy and me. Then it'll be like we're all together again.
May, your father is dead. There was an explosion, a shell. I'm so sorry. Please don't cry. I understand how you feel. I never even knew my father. I lost him soon after I was born. But I love my grandfather just the way you love your father. Keep this watch as a memento of your father and continue to practice the piano as hard as you can. You know that would make him happy. Beautiful playing has brought me back to you. At last, we can be together again. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, May. Goodbye, Mr. Norton. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. What's that? Have I been dreaming? was a goner for sure. <laughs> Long time no see, Alyssa. I haven't seen you since we were in primary school together. It must be three years. What do you think you're doing entering a lady's residence through a window? I have to give you something. Ah, here it is. It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother always has this key with her. What are you doing with it? You saw her? When and where? Calm down, calm down. It was yesterday morning and your mother drove by in her car. Oh, and she said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if she wasn't back in time. She must have known I'd disobey her and come back here. She must have gone up to meet me. We just missed each other. Hey, Alyssa, you've really changed since I last saw you. I'm going to go and check my grandfather's room. Hey! Well... It looks like you've grown up too, Dennis. Oh, come on! That was then and this is now! Wait a minute, would you?
girls who stand against the forces of darkness. Oh, did you find anything in there, Alyssa? What's that? Entity? What's an entity? And the Ruders? So it wasn't a dream. I'm going to look for my mother. You want to look for your mother? But she was in a car, remember? She could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I can tell. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. It'll be like the old days. That was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's, there's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back anyway. You mean Linda? Isn't she travelling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said she won't be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. OK. You can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey, one more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this time, I still remember. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Now check upstairs, will you? You can count on me, partner.
What are you doing here? Answer me! What's that? What's that? What's going on? Mother, where have you got to? Say something. Mother.
who battle the entities are scattered all over Europe. We, the Hamiltons, are also of Ruder stock. Of this lineage I am proud. The Ruder blood is passed down to females. My wife, Francesca, was a Ruder. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities and Ruders alike, preferring to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. But then I found the Book of Entities, and Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. I finally opened my eyes to the truth and began to search into the subject. The ruder powers first appear in a young woman's early teens and peak at age 15. The powers then gradually diminish, usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. For generations, the women of the Hamilton clan have spent their teens fighting against subordinates for the ruder cause, before marrying in their 20s in order to produce the next generation of ruders. Nancy is already 18. Her ruder powers are dwindling rapidly and it is almost time for her to pass the job on to the next female. We Hamiltons think of our ruder blood as something of which to be proud, as well as a responsibility that must be taken very seriously. I am sad to give my beloved Nancy to another man, but it must be done. I will watch her marry with a broken heart. Another ruder has been born to the Hamilton household, my first grandchild. I chose for her the name Alyssa. She is bright and lively, 
perhaps even a little strong-willed, and yet appears somehow wise beyond her years. I pray she will grow strong and healthy and will fulfill her obligation as a noble ruler. A ruder family. So, I am a ruder. It's in my blood. Leave it to me, Grandpa. I have the same ruder strain in my blood as my mother. I can save Dorothy and Albert. Then, and only then, will I be able to leave this nightmare and see my mum again. I'm sure that's the way, isn't it?
but... Mother, what are you doing? I told you, you shouldn't wander around outside by yourself. I came to tell you that dinner's ready. And I told you that you don't need to be worried about me. Your old mother may have dicky eyes, but she's not on her last legs yet. You just concentrate on your work. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? Some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog, I bet. Actually, I've been busy making this. Albert, what's this? Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold, wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it, warm enough? It's lovely. So warm and soft. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>
There she is!
found you! There she is! Oh! Prepare to die! 
There she is! There she is! Prepare to die! I can see. Albert! Albert! Mother. Albert! I waited so long for you. Remember this? It's the winter shawl you knitted for me. Mother! I can see. I can see too. Quite a feat destroying two subordinates. The ruder strain appears especially strong within you, Alyssa.
<laughs> Alicia, this is no longer your home. This is the dark. I rule. In two hours the clock will strike midnight and your 15th birthday will arrive. When that happens, you and I will become one, and together we will obtain eternal life. Looking forward to it, so am I, my dear. So am I, I can't wait. Soon we two will be united forever. <laughs> Alyssa, you might have defeated two of our number, but your mother was killed by a subordinate long ago. No! You're lying! She can't! If you don't believe me, you can go to hell and see for yourself! <laughs> to the others, but you're no match for me! You're going to die by my hand, girl! <laughs>
nice trick. <laughs> Nice trick. <laughs> Get away! 